Hey everybody, the following is an excerpt from the monthly Roto Roundup, and if you'd like to see the rest of the Roundup, you can hit that eye up in the top right corner of the screen, or if you'd like to know more about the game, you can follow the link down in the show notes. And with that out of the way, let's talk about Patchwork Express. We're returning to Patchworkville, folks. And now this is a really odd one because this is basically just a repackaging of Patchwork, which came out years ago, which is very well loved. And really the only functional change, there's a few tweaks in it, but the only significant change is the game length has been cut by 60%. Patchwork is probably a 25 or 30 minute game. This is a 10 to 15 minute game, even five minutes. I mean, if you're really going quick, because you just have a, a, a smaller quilt you're making and you have fewer turns to go, but you still have the economy, you still have the time track, everything else stays pretty much the same. And um, yeah, it works. Uh, if anything, I don't know if this is true because I haven't played Patchwork in years. It feels like the economy is a little bit more forgiving. You know, your ability to get buttons, which are basically money that lets you buy the tiles you need to grab. I didn't feel quite as stressed in this game, in part because it just it plays in half the time, if, if less. Um, but it felt like there was a little bit more... Uh, you know, I was able to get the buttons I needed. I was able to get stuff without really struggling quite as much. And I, I and you know, and this is a 10-minute filler game. If you if you like patchwork, but you want to play it in literally, uh, you know, the time it takes to, well, you're just waiting for somebody else to get off a phone call. That's what it delivers. Whereas patchwork was a longer game. Patchwork. Uh, I, again, I, it's been so long since I played it. I, I could be wrong here, but it felt like it was slightly heavier too, because this one felt so much easier. Uh, there's one less bonus scoring opportunity now. Um, and it's nice. It works really well. But Patchwork Express reminds me of why Patchwork, I ultimately didn't keep it compared to so many other Tetris games that are coming out. I find less and less it to be compelling where, hey, it's a, a tiling game where I can just put the tiles wherever I want. I really do want some kind of restriction, like a Tetris mechanism where they have to come in from the top and slide down, or they have to expand from existing, stuff like that. Uh, it has It's a special tile lane game where there's no restriction on how I lay my tiles, other than just trying to puzzle stuff together. And so, it's great. If you love Patchwork and you're just looking for a game that plays in half the time and is a little bit more forgiving, you should check out my number 18, Patchwork Express. And thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. It makes a huge difference, believe me. But with that out of the way, if you'd like to see some more, over on the left, you can find a playlist of a whole bunch more Rotto Rapid Reviews. Up in the top right, there's the latest thing that's been added to the channel. And in the bottom right, you've got something YouTube recommends. Okay, folks, thanks for watching.